we're ready to drill the feed hole through which is going to be in two stages I'm going to go down at that angle there approximately following these black lines from this hole here and then come from the other way that way to meet that drill way I've got it set up on the angle plate with a strap across and a packer onto the uh, onto the flat portion on the other side and I've just got a transfer punch in there at the moment and all that does if I zoom you in a little bit that allows me to locate that hole there I'm going to pause a moment while I move the camera around and then from this orientation my next hole is indicated by that transfer punch there and I'm going to manipulate the table across, change punches over and get it so that, that this will drop into that hole at the back then we know we're correct on that axis in the route I need to go with the drilling so now from the back we're aligned with that hole as well and I'll just recheck that alignment there well, that's how we're looking from above what bit you can see now with the angle plate tilted I can use another guide pin to follow the line drawn on the outside and get a depth of where I need to be for the drilling and although I've moved over I've got a zero set on the DRO to come back into the centre of that hole again so I'll change over to drill bit and we're almost ready for the first drill way and we're set up back over the hole ready to drill our first oil way I've got the depth stop set I've got to be careful as I start off at the bottom the drill goes in true Apologies for the flashing, one of my LED lights is about to fail on me I think. Bit we made a start and now I can just go down to the depth stop. I've had to alter the setup a bit to get the angle for the uh, that that direction, vertical, horizontal, whichever you want to call it. Um, so I've had to put it on an angle plate on an angle plate. There's it in line that way, and now I've just got to tilt to get the uh, the angle the opposite way. That's the angle set for the drill in that way. I'm just going to spot mill there to give me a flat area to get onto.
rely on you both directions. I've got a little spot on there to start with. I think I'll just about get through with a standard drill. So I'm going to drill through here into that hole, through that hole, and out into that one. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera so I'm close up. Well, I can't have the, the tripod in the way. And then, if that works out okay, we can then just tap this to take a, a grub screw to seal that end off. If we can see that in the hole there, some drillings have just come through. I'll continue on clean up and then we'll spray some uh, solution through. That's the drilling completed. The poker spray can down there. Press that. We've got our drill way through in our block. I'm just going to put a little tapped hole in there for a blanking rub screw. Now we have the prototype block drilled through for a passageway in. The only thing remaining for this would be the addition of a seal there. That's going to live there for the crankshaft quill pipe that will go in the end of the, uh, the crankshaft we end up using. Uh, I'm going to make a better one of these, not out of a casting. Um, now we've got these dimensions here, we obviously don't need that part, and we don't need a lot of that part, and then you, there's where our grub screw is. A lot of this is, it, that's just a small radius there, and we've got a length. That radius is fairly easy to follow there. Uh, now I know where I'm working to, I can make um, make a better one without all the porosity and things in. It'll probably work, uh, but uh, as soon as we're doing the job, we'll do uh, we'll do a better one. So I think the next stage now is probably pull that engine apart and start looking at the proper crankshaft. So uh, we'll move on to that one. 